Good morning, folks. We're watching small solar flares at the departing sunspots. Today we've got earthquakes, weather, and top science news, but more from the sun first over at spaceweathernews.com. Those tiny flares from the departing sunspots are going to vanish by tomorrow and haven't even hit C-class flaring range. Meanwhile, the coronal hole is almost done turning through our visibility with a few patches bringing up the rear. We remain inside the coronal hole stream of faster particles, middle plateau in purple, but as the density of the stream fades away up top in orange, the geomagnetic effect of the stream diminishes. Quiet conditions this morning. Let's go to a white sandy beach. Actually, the white stuff on top of the sand is snow. We're in southern Italy where a snowstorm did this here and to the east in Greece. Meanwhile, what's about to happen in the greater continent of Europe with that polar vortex position you saw yesterday could be one for the record books. Volcano Discovery webcams here, that's Stromboli Volcano, incandescent. Top lithospheric notes of the day were in Alaska and deep, deep within the mantle at the transition zone between upper and lower sections. Capacitor taking it in. Top story today is about geomagnetic risk from space weather. In yet another proof that magnetic latitude is only half the story, it is southern Sweden that takes the worst risk in the far northern reach of the continent. This is being due 100% to the ground electrical conductivity differences between the south, which funnels and concentrates the induced current, and the north, which spreads it out and discharges. We've been talking many times about how the Catatumbo region of Venezuela might be a permanent earth spot on the planet, as well as the lightning heavy portion of the Congo. Well, now we find out that southern China has one too. Three cheers for the global electric circuit. One had also drop a link to a Yale, Harvard, and Woods Hole declaration that the deep oceans are cooling down, still riding away from the little ice age hundreds of years ago, and I thought that's where the heat went during the global warming pause. Guess not. Okay, so two of the four videos we released yesterday are on the premium content. Deeper Look, Episode 2 on the year, was posted about a change made to spaceweathernews.com and one that I think will be extremely relevant. Of course, Fly on the Wall is always on Saturday, but it was a bit different this week. Had to fly solo, didn't have much time, but I made up for it in the visuals. You guys usually have to stare at a blank screen. Morning news, deeper look, fly on the wall, and of course, number four was part six of Earth's catastrophe cycle that came out last night. August Dunning, star metal from Egypt and Sumer to the red planet called Mars. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.